With our new fifth sample styling mask pomade hit in the market in two days, November 7th, I wanted to take this opportunity to run through with you guys two different hairstyles using a pomade and the technique for both. The first hairstyle will be the classic side part done on myself, and the second will be a longer, slick back look. Both killer options. Now, fortunately, my hair is just now getting long enough to be able to pull off a slick look, and this is one of the first most important things. You wanna make sure your hair is long enough to actually be slicked by a product. If it's too short, it's going to be spiky no matter what product you use. But yeah, that's step one. Make sure your hair is long enough to be slicked in the first place. So go get your hair washed and towel dry that a little bit with a towel so it's not soaking. Then a step that I think always helps is going in with some pre-styler. I'm using Original by Bloom On, my go-to pre-styler for the past couple years now. Just take a little scoop, apply that to your damp hair, make sure you're hitting the roots, you're hitting everything all around, hit it all. We're going to be using a brush and a comb. We're going to start out with a brush. My favorite is the vented brush. So take a brush and while your hair is still damp, comb that into the position that you're going to want to finish the style. For with. me, I'm styling my hair from my right to my left, so I'm combing my hair from the right to the left. Now with these slick hairstyles, the side part is always the trickiest part. Don't get too stressed out about the side part right now. Try to create the side part as best you can, but don't worry if it gets messy during the blow drying process because we can fix it later with the pomade and with a comb. Once your hair is generally in the right direction, get that blow dryer on and target the difficult areas first. For me, that's towards the back of my head, the bits that are sticking up. I want to blow dry that and try to get that pushed down as much as possible. Then just take your blow dryer, blow dry your hair in the correct direction, the way that you're wanting it to dry. Uh, you know, try your best. Once again, don't get too stressed out about the, the side part area. Just try your best to blow dry the bits that need to go down, down, and the bits that need to go across, across. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once your hair is fully dry, thanks to Original as a pre-styler, you've got a pretty solid foundation. Um, I've got some flyaways still, especially at the side part area. Once again, we're gonna get that taken care of. But now it's time to go through with some pomade, specifically Blue Mon's Fit Sample Pomade. Now the biggest thing people don't realize when it comes to styling slick looking hairstyles is that you need to actually use more than any other kind of product out there for any other kind of different hairstyle. Don't be afraid to layer up with the pomade. For me, I'm gonna be going in with two generous sized scoops. Right now, I'm not focused on trying to get my hair styled in place. I'm more focused on getting the pomade into my hair. Because I blow dried my hair in the right direction, I'm gonna easily be able to push it back in that place once I get the product through. And then to make sure that I've got enough product to be slicking my hair all day long, I'm going in with a second scoop. The amount of pomade you need is really gonna vary on how easy it is to style your hair, how thick your hair is, how much hair you have. There's a number of variables, but the point is you can use more than you think. After this, I'm gonna grab my vented brush again and comb my hair in the general right direction. I'm Now I'm starting the styling process. I'm trying to get my hair in place. To be honest with you guys, a lot of this is just a patience game. You kinda gotta work at it until it's finally starting to cooperate. If you keep at it, if you keep styling, you're eventually gonna be able to get it in place, so don't give up too quick. Once I feel like I've done the best I can with the vented brush, I'm switching over to the comb to now start getting those tight lines. A comb is great for the finishing touches because the narrow teeth are gonna create those fine lines, but you don't wanna be using that throughout the whole process because you could be tugging and pulling at your hair if it's not already in generally the right direction. And that's what we used the vented brush for. With your comb, again, just keep going at it. You're eventually gonna be able to get your hair in place. It might take a bit of work and sometimes uh, just a little hack for you. If you still got some bits sticking up over at the sides or anywhere else, take a little bit of pomade on the tips of your fingers and just smooth over that area. Once you smooth over it, grab your comb and comb that bit down and you should have those loose strands sticking in place. And just like that guys, with patience, determination and a solid hair product, your hair is gonna look slicker than ever. And now for our second hairstyling demonstration, we're working with Kelvin. His music is saying, you to the audience in a really beautiful way. I've already brought you the full haircut and beard trim for this video, so if you did miss that, I've got that linked in the cards up above. They're gonna do whatever they want. In the As you can see, Calvin's hair is much longer than mine at this time, so he's gonna be going for a classic slick back, achieved, of course, thanks to Fit Sample. Once your hair gets a little longer, working with pomade actually becomes easier because your hair naturally wants to lay down instead of stick up like shorter hair does. And because of this, even though Kelvin's hair is on the wavy side, we're still able to achieve a slick look 
thanks to the length of his hair and the high holding slicking factor of the pomade. Guys, Fit Sample hits the streets on November 7th. I'm gonna be doing a live stream at 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time to break everything down for you and let you know exactly what this product is all about. So make sure you tune in for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.